Mrs. Higgins, can you believe it? A trillionaire family wants to adopt me! Me! Crystal from the village! <laughs> <laughs> Ay, I can hardly believe it myself, Crystal! You're going to be living the high life! I know, right? I can't wait to have a bigger room than our entire house and wear clothes that don't have holes in them! <sighs> Just don't forget about us little people when you're living in your palace, okay? Oh, Mrs. Higgins, you know I could never forget about you! You're like a second mother to me! <gasps> They're here! They're finally here! Well, hello there, Crystal. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Yes, we've been looking forward to this day for quite some time. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Cameron. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> if you like, I can give you some privacy to chat with Crystal. That would be wonderful, Mrs. Higgins. Thank you. So, Crystal, we have something very important to ask you. Yes? What is it? Crystal, would you like to be the newest member of our trillionaire family? Wait, you mean you want to adopt me? But why? I'm just a village girl who's living a very simple life. <laughs> why, because we think you're absolutely marvelous, darling. We've been searching for the perfect addition to our family, and we believe you're the one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Crystal. Get ready for a lifetime of luxury and adventure. And don't worry, we promise not to spoil you too much. <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> oh, Crystal, my dear, I'm going to miss you so much! I'll miss you too, Mrs. Higgins. You've been like a second mom to me. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me. We promise to take good care for Mrs. Higgins. Crystal will always have a place in our hearts. Absolutely. You've done an amazing job raising her, Mrs. Higgins. She's such a sweet and jolly kid. Thank you, Cameron. So, I know Crystal will thrive with you both. From the moment she was born and her parents got into an accident, and when I first had her in my arms, she's only been giving me joy and, well, peace. I'm going to miss you a lot, my dear. Gonna miss you too. I promise to visit as often as I can, Mrs. Higgins. You won't be able to get rid of me that easily. <laughs> you better not forget about me, Crystal. And remember, if they don't treat you right, you come straight back here. I won't forget you, Mrs. Higgins. Thank you for everything. <sighs> wow. The city is incredible. Look at all the tall buildings and flashing lights. It's like something out of a movie. Isn't it amazing, Crystal? This is going to be your new home. I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like this before. It's so big and... and... shiny. <laughs> yes, it certainly is shiny, isn't it? But don't worry, Crystal. You'll get used to it in no time. I hope so. It's just all so... Overwhelming. What if I get lost in this big city? Oh, don't worry, Crystal. We'll always be here to guide you. And besides, getting lost is all a part of the adventure, don't you think? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I'm ready for whatever this big, shiny city throws at me. Now that's our girl. You're going to love your new life. Trust me. Oh, and feel free to call us mom and dad anytime you'd like. Thanks, mom and dad. Hey, give me your wallets, your phones, everything you've got. <gasps> oh no, are we getting robbed? P please, we don't want any trouble. Just take what you want and leave us alone. Yes, yes, of course. Here, take the keys to the car. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What are we going to do now? We're in the middle of nowhere. It's okay, Crystal. We'll get through this together, just stay calm. Yes, hello? This is Cameron. We're in trouble. We need assistance right away. A helicopter? 
Doctor! Are you serious? It's okay, Crystal. It's just our ride home. Don't worry. We'll be safe. This is insane! I never thought I'd ride in a helicopter! Just another day in the life of a trillionaire. Crystal! Hang on tight! We'll be home in no time! <laughs> Well, Crystal, what do you think? Welcome to your new home! Oh, my gosh! It's like a castle! Pretty impressive, huh? Wait until you see the inside! Can't wait! Alright, sweetie, why don't you go inside and explore? We'll catch up with you in a bit! Sure thing, Mom! Thanks! Wow, this place is fancier than fancy! Wait, what's that noise? Yes! Take that, you pesky boss monster! No way! How did I miss that power-up? Ha! Did you see that epic dodge? I'm unstoppable! Come on, come on, just a little bit more! Yes! Victory's mine! Oh no, game over already? I demand a rematch! Now! Oh! Who are you? How did you get in here? Um, hi. I'm Crystal. I live here now. Zoe and Cameron adopted me. Wait, adopted you? You mean you're not a burglar or something? N no of course not. Why would you think that? Do I really look like a thief to you? Well, no offense, but you kind of look like you snuck in here to steal stuff. Oh, <laughs> these old things? Yeah, I guess they're not exactly mansion worthy. Hmm, well, I don't know. I should probably call the guards just to be safe. No, wait! I promise I'm not a thief! Please don't call the guards! What's going on here? Why are you two arguing? I found her in the living room playing games. I thought she was a thief or something. <laughs> oh, Frankie. That's Crystal. She's our new daughter. She's not a thief. She lives here now. Oops. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay, Frankie. And don't worry, I won't steal your high score on the PS5. Uh, whatever. Well, now that Crystal is a part of our family, we need to make sure everyone gets along and behaves nicely, especially you, Frankie. What do you mean? I always behave. <laughs> of course you do. But sometimes you can be a bit loud. And since Crystal's room is still being renovated, she'll be staying with you in your room for a little while. Wait, what? You mean I have to share my room with her? No way! I'll never share my room with a girl! She's going to turn my whole room into a pink mess! Frankie, be nice. Crystal is your new sister, and we expect you to treat her with kindness and respect. Fine, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Don't worry about him, dear. He's usually not like this. He just doesn't like the thought of sharing, but I know you two will get along just fine. I really hope so. I don't really want to be a burden for anyone. You'll never be a burden for us, dear. Come on now. Let me take you out on a ride. You'll love it. Oh, and I should also show you your own brand new Bugatti. <gasps> a, a Bugatti? For me? Well, of course since Frankie has one, so we need to make sure you have one too. Now, follow me. Ta-da! Your very own Bugatti. What do you think? Wow, it's amazing. I can't believe it's mine. Well, go ahead. Hop in and take it for a spin. Uh, Dad, I think there's something wrong with the car. It won't start. Hmm, that's strange. Let me take a look. What in the world? The gear is broken. Someone must have sabotaged the car. Sabotage? But why would anyone do that? I have no idea. But I'm going to find out. Nobody messes with our Bugatti. <laughs> this will teach Frankie not to mess with me. 
What the heck? Surprise! <laughs> I thought you could use a little splash of color in your life. <laughs> this is not funny, Crystal. I'm gonna get you back for this. Ah! <laughs> Oh, what a sweet revenge. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. I can't believe we're actually here. Isn't it exciting, Crystal? Just wait until you see all the attention we'll get. Cameron's family, over here. Can we get a picture? Of course. Smile, everyone. Um, Mom? Dad? What if I trip and fall in front of everyone? Don't worry, Crystal. Just walk tall and confident. If you do trip, just make it look like a new dance move. Dad, that red carpet party was amazing! The food was so fancy and everyone was so nice to us! I'm glad you had a good time, Crystal. It was a special night for all of us. I felt like a movie star, Dad. Did you see how many people wanted to take a picture with us? Oh, I saw, Crystal. You were the belle of the ball. And the food. Oh my gosh, Dad, you wouldn't believe the shrimp cocktails. They were like little ocean treasures on a plate. <laughs> Sounds like you had quite the feast. Did you save any room for dessert? Oh, you bet I did. There were these chocolate truffles that were so decadent. I thought I'd die and gone to dessert heaven. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Crystal. It's moments like these that make life worth living. <sighs> you know, Dad, I never imagined my life would be like this. Being a part of your family, going to fancy parties, it's all so surreal. I know what you mean, Crystal. Life has a funny way of surprising us sometimes. To think... Just a short while ago, I was a village girl dreaming of a better life. Now I'm walking down the street with my amazing dad, feeling like the luckiest girl in the world. You are the luckiest girl in the world, Crystal. I'm the luckiest dad to have you. You know, I wasn't so used to all this fancy stuff myself. When I got adopted by a famous couple, you can say that my life completely changed. Really? You were adopted too? What was it like for you? Well, Crystal, it wasn't always easy. But having a loving family like yours makes all the difference. And now, seeing you blossom into the wonderful young woman you are, it's all been worth it. Thank you, Dad. I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me. All right. Enough mushy stuff. How about we pick up the pace and see where this night takes us? Sounds like a plan, Dad. Lead the way. <laughs> dad! What's happening? Hey, where are you taking my hey, dad? Don't hurt my daughter. Crystal, run. Help! Get Someone help! Please! My dad's been kidnapped! <laughs> oh no. What should I do now? I should call mom. Hello? Crystal? Dear, where are you? We're about to arrive home soon. Mom, something terrible happened. Dad, he's been kidnapped. What? But how? Crystal, where are you? Are you okay? Did you try calling for help? I... I don't know, Mom. I'm okay, but they've taken Dad away. Okay, calm down. Just take deep breaths, all right? We're on our way. Uh, okay. Mom, please be quick. I'm scared here. Yes, darling. We're coming to see you soon. What happened to Mom? What happened to Dad? Frankie, turn the car around. We need to get Crystal right away. But what's wrong? Just turn the car around. We need to get Crystal. She's waiting for us. Please, God, get them here soon. Oh, Crystal, are you okay? What happened? How did this all happen? Mom! Dad! He was taken by some strange man in a big car! I tried to stop them, but I couldn't! No, darling, it's not your fault! I'm so sorry! I know you must have tried to save your brother! <laughs> I can't believe this is happening! We'll find your dad, I promise! We will find him, Crystal! We have to! You know what? Drop the act! I know this is all your fault, Crystal. You're nothing but bad luck. If you hadn't been with Dad, none of this would have happened. Frankie, 
How... How can you say something like that? Do you know how terrified I was? I didn't do anything. I tried to stop them, I swear. I don't want to hear your excuses, Crystal. You're just a burden on this family. Dad wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for you. Frankie, that's enough. Crystal is not to blame for this. We need to stick together as a family and focus on finding your dad. This is not the time. We need to head to the police station now. I don't care, Mom. Crystal's nothing but trouble. She's the reason Dad's in danger. I can't believe you. You're being so blind. Frankie, please. We need to work together to find your dad. Blaming Crystal won't solve anything. We can always discuss about it later. It's not good for us to stay outside this late. Let's go. Come on, dear. Let's get you comfortable. No, Mom. I won't listen to you. Crystal's the reason for all of this. And I won't rest until I prove it. Ugh. Can you describe the man who kidnapped your father, Miss Crystal? Um, he was tall, with dark hair, and he had this creepy look. I wasn't able to see his face, though. He just looked... intimidating. And what about the car? Did you happen to catch the license plate number? No, I'm sorry I didn't see it. Everything happened so fast. I... I didn't get the time to see, or... Miss Crystal, I know this is difficult, but we need as much information as possible to help find your father. It's okay, Crystal. You're doing great. Can you think of anything else that might be useful? I... I'm sorry. I can't think of anything else. I think that's enough for now. Crystal's been through a lot tonight. We'll come back tomorrow to provide any additional information. Though I can also give you all the information on the call. Sure, Miss Zoe. You can reach out to us anytime, and we promise you, we're going to do our best to find Mr. Cameron. Great. Just great. Now we're back to square one because of Crystal. Frankie, that's enough. Can't you see Crystal's been through a traumatic experience? She's just a simple girl who's used to living a simple life. She doesn't know how to face all of this, and she needs our support right now. Not blame. Mom, why can't you understand me? I know there's something wrong, and it has to do with something with her. Please just listen to me for once. <sighs> Crystal, dear, why don't you wait for us inside the car? Um, sure. I can't believe you're doing this. What is she even going to think about us now, huh? Mom, isn't that a bit weird to see how quickly these things are happening? This has never happened before Crystal came into our house. You can't just blame a poor innocent girl. She's got nothing to do with this. I really don't think you understand, Mom. But I promise you, I will prove her wrong. And you guys will regret it. Come on, Tony, pick up. Hello? Crystal, it's Tony. We got a problem. What do you mean, a problem? I've been trying to get the information about the money and the property papers from your old man. But he's not talking. I don't know what to do. You need to keep him there until he gives you what you need. We can't afford any mistakes. Do you hear me? And it's your job to get the information out of him. We've paid you. Listen, I'll call you back later. Bye. Crystal? Who are you talking to? Oh! It's just my nanny. She wanted to check in and see how I'm doing after everything that happened. That's thoughtful of her. Are you feeling okay, sweetheart? Yeah. I just hope we can find Dad soon. I miss him already. Can you believe it, Mrs. Higgins? We're finally going to pull off the biggest heist of our lives! I know, Crystal. This is our chance to make it big and live the life we've always dreamed of! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the plan. We'll lure Cameron into a trap and hold him for ransom. Once we have the money and the property papers, we'll make a clean getaway. I'm gonna ask Tony for help. How's that? Sounds like a plan, Crystal. With your smarts and my experience, we'll be unstoppable! And once we're done, We'll be living it up in luxury, sipping cocktails on the beach somewhere. <laughs> I can't wait, Crystal. We'll be living in the high life in no time. <laughs> Cheers to that. Come on, come on. Tony better not have given me the wrong code. 
Ugh, stupid Tony and his stupid codes. Why can he get anything right? Ugh, this is ridiculous. Maybe it's the wrong code. Why did I ever trust that idiot Tony? I should have known better. <sighs> Fine. If the code won't work, then I'll just have to find another way to get that money. <gasps> May I help you with that? Frankie! What are you doing here? Looks like you could use a little help, huh, Crystal? No, Frankie. You don't understand. It's not like what you think it is. I was just, uh... Caught you, red-handed Crystal. T tony I can't believe you would stoop to this, Crystal. We trusted you. I... I'm sorry, Mom. Dad. I just... I don't know what I was doing. Please, just give me another chance. It's too late, sweetheart. What's done is done. I figured out your little scheme a little while ago and called the cops. Ugh, you jerk! I can't believe you'd do this to me! I'm going to kill you! Hey! All's fair in love and war, right? Ugh, this isn't fair! You all pay for this! I'm going to kill you all! Frankie, I can't thank you enough for what you've done. You saved us from a potentially disastrous situation. Hey, no problem, Dad. Just doing my duty as the family detective. But Frankie, how did you even find out about all of this? You've been quite the detective lately. Well, you see, it all started when I overheard Crystal talking to Mrs. Higgins about their plan to steal the money. I knew I had to do something to stop them. Wait, Mrs. Higgins is involved too. And how did you overhear their conversation? You weren't even with us. Well, that's the thing, Dad. You're so used to leaving your phone behind. Remember when I was in a call with you while you were driving to their house? You forgot to hang up, and you forgot your phone in her house. I overheard all the conversations between them. Wow, Frankie. That's some quick thinking. And to think we almost fell victim to their scheme. Yeah, it was a touch and go there for a minute. But I managed to outsmart them in the end. We couldn't be more prouder of you, Frankie. You really saved us like a hero. Thanks, Mom. Don't worry. I'll always be here to protect the family from any more would-be criminals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>